Hi everyone, welcome back to Learn at Home with Mrs. Jones. Today we have a fun math game and it's going to involve some graphing. It is really easy to do with things you have in your house and it is called Gather, Grab, and Graph. Let me show you how to play. So before we can get started, you are going to need a couple things. I want you to get a bowl and I want you to find three different snacks and they need to be small and you need to get 10 of each one. So for example, here's what I picked. Make sure you ask an adult which snacks you can grab, but for mine, I grabbed 10 goldfish, I grabbed 10 Cheerios, and I grabbed 10 checks. We, have two, we had two things of cereal and we had some snacks. So I went and I, get, I got 10 of each and I put them in a bowl. The other thing you're going to need is a sheet of paper that looks like this. If your parents have a printer at home, they can go ahead and click the link in the description to print this out, or you can ask your parents to help you draw one. I drew mine on the board here, and all I did is I made a big rectangle, and then I made it into three columns, so I drew two lines here to make three columns, and then I made sure there were 10 spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then in the last one down here, I drew a picture of each of my snacks. So I just did it again to the best I can. I drew a goldfish, I drew a circle, which shows me that's a Cheerio, and I drew a little box that kind of looks like a piece of checks. So press pause and gather everything you need, and I will meet you right back here to show you how to play. Now, before you get started, you are doing this by yourself, so make sure your hands are all nice and washed and clean so you are ready to gather and graph your snacks. Because guess what? At the end, you get to eat them. Once you have your graph and your snacks ready, this is all you have to do for this game. I want you to close your eyes, and you're going to put your hand into your bowl, and you're going to pick out just a tiny handful, tiny handful, and you're going to place them down on the table. Let me show you what I picked out. So I only grabbed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things in total. I grabbed seven different snacks. That was with just my tiny little handful. You don't wanna get them all because you're gonna have to pick three different times. You're gonna go into the bowl and pick three times. So I picked one, two, three, four goldfish. Let me see if I can show you. Four goldfish and three checks. I'm going to leave them on the table in front of me and I'm going to graph them. So let's see, I actually grabbed three different colors for my graphs. So the goldfish were four of them, right? So I'm gonna take my red marker and I'm going to color in, starting at the very bottom down here, I'm going to color in one, two, three, and four. I got four goldfish in the first one. And then how many Cheerios? I didn't get any Cheerios, so I'm gonna not do any green. And I got three checks. Let me graph that. One, two, three. All right, round two. This time I'm going to go ahead in. Again, I'm just going to pick a small little handful. Let me see what I can grab. Oop, let's see what I got. See if I can show you in my hand what I got. This time I only picked four things. Looks like I got three goldfish. So let me put it over in my goldfish pile. And one Cheerio, I got my first Cheerio. Those are small, they're hard to grab. So let's go back to our graph. We grab, now we're going to graph. So I got three more goldfish, one, two, Three. No checks mixed this time, but I did get a Cheerio. All right, last one. Now, I wanna tell you, if you don't have a lot in there, by the end of the game, you never wanna take all the snacks out. You still want there to be some in there. So you don't wanna just take them all out, you just want tiny little handfuls each time. Ready for my last pick. Got it. I only picked up four things this time. I got, let me see, let's see, I have one goldfish, two Cheerios, and a Chex Mix, that was my last one. Add it to my pile, let's graph. Goldfish first, one goldfish, I 
I picked two Cheerios this time. Two Cheerios. And I got another Chex. So now we grabbed everything we need. We did our three tiny grabs and there's still snacks left in the bowl, right? So now you're going to answer some questions. So pause this video right here. Go ahead and do your three grabs. And after you've done your three grabs and you've graphed each one, then come back and you'll answer the questions. Hey everyone, great job doing your graph. Now I want you to take a look at it because if you printed out the sheet that I had in my description, you will have some questions on the side of it. If you didn't print it out and your parents just do, drew a graph, I'm going to ask you these questions now and I want you to figure out the answer. So let me take a look. We're gonna do it with my graph first. Which snack did I get the most of? Which one did I get the most of? Well, I can tell here, it looks like my goldfish. That bar is way higher there. So I got the most goldfish. Which snack did I get the least of? Which one is the smallest? These ones are pretty close, but I have one, two, three Cheerios, one, two, three, four, check. So Cheerios is the smallest. And the last question is a little tricky. The last question I have for you is what is the difference between the snack you got the most and the snack you got the least of? Now this is gonna be different for everyone, so watch how I do this. I know that the snack I got the most of is my goldfish. So let me see how many I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight goldfish. Now, let me see how many I got of the least one, which was Cheerios. I'm writing over here, most and least. Least was Cheerios. One, two, three. Three. Now, I'm trying to find out the difference. Where have you heard the word difference before? I know that when I take two numbers and I subtract one from the other, the difference is the answer. So here, I'm trying to do a subtraction problem. I'm trying to figure out eight minus three equals what? What is the difference of eight minus three? And there's a couple different ways I wanna show you how you can solve this. First, you can just go ahead, put up eight fingers, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm taking three away, eight minus three. What's my answer? Five. But I also wanna show you that there's a cool way with a bar graph to check and see the difference. Look at this bar graph, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is all the way up here. My Cheerios only goes to one, two, three. This empty space right here, this is the difference between these two. So I can actually pair them up next to each other and I can see which ones don't have a match. That is the difference between these two numbers. So let's check and see if this works too. One, two, three, four, Five, I get the same answer. So the difference between my most gathered snack and my least gathered snack is five. I want you to go ahead, look at your graph, and I want you to answer those three different questions. I love two things about this activity. Number one is when you're all done, you can gobble up those snacks, and it's a fun little activity that you can also eat. What I also like about this activity is you can do this more than once. You can play this a few times. You can try this game in a few days if you really like it. You can do it over and over. I hope you liked Gather, Grab, and Graph. I will go ahead and make some more math videos for you. Don't forget I'm also doing reading and writing activities as well. So join me here at Learn at Home with Mrs. Jones. Make sure you like this video and I will see you very soon. Bye.